I said burr. It's cold in her. Must be some blizzards in the atmosphere. I said burr. It's cold in here. Must be some blizzards in the atmosphere. Hey guys, BlizzCon was over the weekend and while we weren't able to attend, we thought we'd bring you the highlights for those of you who need to be caught up. So take a seat right there because there's tons of info coming right at you. It's Netlink Daily, Roundup Edition. First of all, in World of Warcraft news, the game has lost 100,000 subscribers in the past three months. While that might seem like a huge number, the game still has 7.6 million subscribers plucking down their cash each and every month. This is down from the peak of over 12 million users in 2010, but I think they're doing just fine. Now in uplifting WoW news, Blizzard just announced their newest expansion, Warlords of Draenor. Draenor, for the uninitiated, is the original homeworld of the Orcs. The expansion promises to bring the players to familiar locations from the game's first expansion, The Burning Crusade, while offering a host of new and exciting story content. Also included in the expansion will be new character models, new PvP zones, an increased level cap of 100, and the ability to build and upgrade your own garrison. Blizzard also focused much of BlizzCon to their upcoming Blizzard Dota or Blizzard's All-Stars. Uh, I mean Heroes of the Storm. They had an hour-long panel discussion about their wacky MOBA mashup of virtually every major Blizzard game currently in existence. They also showed off a pretty sweet cinematic, so check it out. Also, if you head over to battle.net, you can opt in for some beta access goodness. Also getting a bunch of attention, Hearthstone, Blizzard's entirely online strategy card game. iPhone and Android versions were announced and they even gave all BlizzCon attendees a special Elite Torrens Chieftain card, complete with rockstar animation. Rob Pardo, Chief Creative Officer, was quoted as saying that Hearthstone won't have open beta within a month, although it's Blizzard time, so maybe January. We'll just have to wait and see. On the first day of BlizzCon, Diablo's new expansion Reaper of Souls was given the spotlight. A new adventure mode was created to address problems that played the original mode, which made you play the same game four times in a row with similar layouts. This new mode allows you to go anywhere and slay anything within the entire game unlocked from the get-go. Blizzard also talked about new monsters, environments, and the dark gothic undertone of the new epic heroes. Finally, StarCraft 2 got some love as well with a new 2.1 patch announcement. This will bring clan and group event calendars, custom clan decals, extension mods, and level cap increases complete with new rewards. If you're a fan of classic StarCraft, then you'll be happy to hear that they've even added classic StarCraft and Brood War soundtracks completely remastered and available for play within StarCraft 2. Yay! As always, links for all that we talked about here will be in the description below. And guys, that does it for Netlink Daily Event Roundup Edition. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm still a little bit sick. I'm gonna go now and cough out a lung.